I'm back! Hold on, I got hair in my armpits because I took a little bit of a break. Ugh. I've been traveling, so I've just been busy. That's but so I'm, hard. It's so difficult. You know, living the life of a superstar as such, you know, you do a lot of traveling and you just leave and you just, you know, jet set in <laughs> airports. Do you like my outfit? Not really. Delta, you like this outfit. You always say you like this. No, no I we're like, alone to I like, it. like I don't want you like sharing with everyone. <gasps> oh, babe. It's for me and me alone. I know. We're coming out. We're coming out as lesbian lovers. Yeah, 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 This week we're actually going to talk about the guest that went to the gallery show for Matthew oh. Anderson. Did, were you there? I wasn't there. I had to work, but I like lived vicariously through the pictures. Yes. So I'm excited to see what everyone wore. It was a very special night. So many different cool people showed up with amazing outfits. I mean, they really turned it up for Matthew's show because it was all his art from Instagram, which as we know is quite incredible. Right. And it's just its own fucking crazy thing. So anyway, with that said, let's talk about some fucking outfits on the I red carpet. Uh -oh. Now sissy that wow. My immediate response is twink in a spacesuit and splits. I'm erect. Well, you know, the red carpet, I think, is a place for people to really show out. You want everyone to see you. They, you want to make a scene, essentially, a splash. Right. And this lady definitely uh, made a splash on the red carpet. She knew what her best angle was, which was taint. I think he looks great, too. I mean, like I said, twink little lycra number and the splits. I am in love. I think he looks great. I think it needs a hole in it, actually. Oh. You know what I mean? In the, yeah. I, in the front, the back, it doesn't matter. Or just like a like a Ziploc little thing, like it, yellow and blue make green. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and it opens up. Oh. It's just like so yeah, 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 stuff yeah. in there. Yeah, totally. I give it a two. Total two. So I was at the party, and when Glenn Allen came, he actually did this really cool spinny thing, mm -hmm. and it, you really got to see the volume and the amount of color that was in there, and that's what really, truly made it special. And I, I always like a little bit of a special effect. You know? Yeah, he always thinks about his costumes 360. So I mean, every 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 angle. And you know, Glenn Allen is an Emmy award-winning makeup artist. Mm -hmm. He is a costume designer, and he's also a Bette Midler impersonator, Lady Gaga impersonator. He's very, very well versed. Somebody who really just shows out. And has a good time. Red carpets are the time to show up. It's not like a wedding. You know, right. it's not like, oh, I can't wear white. Who wants to show up the bride? It's like everyone gets to be the bride when you're on the red carpet. Right. Sometimes you don't need the realness, you just need the fantasy. Right. Create your own realness. Mm -hmm. You don't have to follow in someone else's realness. That's right. I give it a complete toot. Toot, 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 toot. Yeah. Ooh, yes! We have Ridge Gallagher, a very gentle soul. Kind of crazy because if you knew him, he wouldn't even like match the look that he is really? wearing here. Yeah. I think this is an exciting look and it's yeah. dramatic. The makeup is beautiful. I think the hat is cool. I love it too. I think, you know what, if you're gonna walk into the room, make that statement, yes. you know? And Ridge is one of those people because if you knew him, he's actually kind of a little bit on the shy side. Mm -hmm. So for him to come out and really do all this stuff is really kind of brilliant and he's highly creative. He does this amazing look, you know. I, again, white contacts does not make a sure needle. Like, no. why do, I'm so sick and tired of people just because you do something, you're like, oh my God, you're giving this realness or right. this person's realness. Oh, you're Gia Gunn or you're Karma Carrera or blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like sometimes people just look the way they do and they also have the $40 to buy the contacts. <laughs> so cool it. I give her a complete toot. I give her a complete toot as well. Next, we have Glitz Glam. Glitz Glam is from San Diego, and I know her very, very well. It's an exciting look. I'm not sure where to look. I feel like I'm looking at the shoulder, I'm looking at the hat, and maybe that's a good thing, maybe that's the statement, but I, I, this, for me, just a little tiny bit of editing. Just something a little more focused for mm -hmm. me. It depends on which icon you're talking about here. Are you gonna listen to Coco Chanel, or are you gonna be on the Diana Vreeland side? Are you gonna be like, yep. take one thing away, or the eye has to travel, you know, it has to move around. Sometimes the eye travels and it just doesn't know where it's going. Damn. Glitz Glam, I love you to death. This particular outfit is a boot. I don't know, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna boot it as well. Oh. Next, we have from season six, RuPaul's Drag Race, Les Rangeons et Strangeons. That's how you say it in French. How do you say weed in French? Um, weed. Weed? <laughs> weed. Marijuana. Mm, marijuana, weed. We get high. Weed, weed. I don't, wanna, I don't know why the teeth are to be like this when we do that. Well, because it makes that sound that we like. We like the sound. I like this picture of Laganja. I like her out of the MC Hammer pants and the boho boot, high mm -hmm. heel. It's giving me like a touch of Versace, mm -hmm. Versace, 
You know, I am a girl who really loves a little bit of fetish moment. You know this Clearly. one? Her makeup is done very, very well, but just for my personal taste, I wish it would have been either the really, really bright lip or the really, really dramatic eye, right. one or the other. I always feel like a queen that's that young might want to kind of take it away and allow the youth to kind of work itself okay. in. She's from the house of Edward, so she's got her mother to, you know, they paint. They paint. They paint. They, paint. they the don't play. Edwards. You we'll can't go. say they don't paint. Yes. Toot. Toot Laganja. We've got Dylan Shango Threat. Mm. She's a bit of a cyber girl. She really loves Very. zombies and spacey kind of ideas. She's a, like a really glamorous geek. Yeah. I think she looks fantastic. I, I know Dylan, so I, I know that she's stepped out of the box for this, and she's right. really having a lot of, a really good time with this. Is that bangs in the front, or is that her, like a headpiece? It's jewels. It's, it's jewels. rhinestones, dear. Oh, her makeup is beautiful. Um, I like it dewy on her. I think that looks really great. I know that's sort of her style with the flat shoe boot mm -hmm. thing. It's sort of like, Glam meets utility or whatever. Yeah. That's really cool, but I just, if she would have had a pump on in this, yeah. there wouldn't have been a box for her to step out of. You know what I mean? There would just be, the box would have been broken down. I don't know about the wristlet. Are people doing wristlets? Maybe she's just going for convenience. I don't oh. know. Maybe she needs, she needs a whole purse. I don't know. But overall, I think this looks amazing and I have to give it a toot. I'm going to give this a toot. I give it a toot. Two toots. Yes, God. Now, I wore a very particular outfit because recently while I was in Houston, I went to a hippie shop or we were driving by and we went to this hippie shop and we saw those big giant bed sheets and it had this pattern on it. So basically I found this blanket. I bought two of them and one I had to just turn into a skirt. So basically I wore a bed sheet, a tank top and a hippie purse. Kind of arty, kind of like world traveler, kind of like pure one imports, mm. just world market. It's very farmer's market. It's very hot house cucumbers on Sunday. It's very, you know, it's that. You know, the reusable bag on the red carpet. Uh, again, it's personal choice. You won RuPaul's Drag Race with those looks. So, you know, somebody likes it. <laughs> I just prefer you a little more glamorous. Oh! Well, I was there, you wasn't, so. Right, no, I was working <laughs> making money. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Next we have the one, the only, Matthew Anderson. Matthew is wearing one of his t-shirts that are being sold through the World of Wonder website. You guys have to check it out. They're amazing. I think he looks beautiful. I mean, it's all about the artwork. Why would he want to wear some outlandish, crazy thing to take away from what he's Agreed. showcasing. Yes, very and much. Um, he's got his signature ombre eyebrows that are pretty fucking thick. What, what kind of necklace does he have on? Those are House of DeVille teeth, House the of fangs. DeVille teeth, yes. yes. That's a very, I mean, I love those. I, he, and he's just representing some of our local friends here. And what kind of hat does he have on? Like a newsy kind of hat? It's kind of newsy. It's kind of like spanky from um, The Little Rascals. What do you think a hat like that smells like? Oh, probably smells like blood, sweat, tears, hairspray. Um, and talent. 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 I toot you the house down realness boots. Realness boots, house down. He's yes giving, God, Matthew Mama. is giving me Matthew Anderson realness right now. I mean, it's Mama God, yes God, no it's, God, all It's God. just all Matthew realness all the time. We love you, Matthew. Love you. Next, we have our fan submission, Carney Asada Smith. I love that name. I mean, I think she looks spectacular. I would agree with you. you kind of can't go wrong. She knows that her waist needs to be cinched. She, the wig is beautiful. The makeup's beautiful. And I know we said earlier about you know picking a balance between an eye color or a lip color. But in this case, when the hair is so strong and the costume so strong, the makeup has to be strong. Right. I think you have that leeway. I really like the balance of the soft, beautiful lace and then the vinyl. I think that looks really great. I am a big fan of space and lace. Space and lace. Space and lace, and that's what I see here. I think she looks spectacular. I also love black and red, and I love shimmery and kind of textured as well, so I'm really feeling it. I think she looks fabulous. I mean, you know what? She deserves a toot, I think. I think she looks great. We give her two toots. Yes, God. Our, Our top, top toot of the week is, is Matthew Anderson. Matthew Anderson. Mathu. Mathu's I've heard people say Mathu. Mathu. Or Machu. God bless you. I think people want it to be something more, you know, it's Matthew. Matthew. It's okay. Trend alert. Oh, it is fetish noir. Ooh. Dark and deadly. Ooh. Ow! Leather and lace. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah? Leather. Oh, all of them all. Oh, spikes. Spikes. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Thanks, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> if you'd like to have your photo featured on Fashion Photo Review, please send it to the World of Wonder Facebook page. Hashtag Fashion Photo Review. Have a YouTube channel and want to be part of the Wow Presents Network? Email us at YouTube at WorldOfWonder.net. Thanks so much for watching us. Uh, we'll see you next week, everyone. Bye. And don't, don't forget, forget to, to subscribe, subscribe to, to Wow Presents. Wow Presents.